When you reach the end, will you wait for me? Holding out a torch that's lighting up the way. Pause the music and I will repeat myself. Sorry about that. We have a slightly tweaked setup as we begin our day on this leap year on March 1st. Sorry. As we will be playing Rocket League at 2 o'clock in the CSL Star League playoffs. It's a best of five versus East Carolina. As we will be playing, we will have a five-minute delay. And as you can see, we have our roster ready. And they are getting stuff set. Uh, as they are getting everything ready, we have both teams expecting a real hard match. So we ex they're getting perfectly ready to win the game on both sides. Since this is the playoffs, it will be a match. <coughs> and they are currently lining up. with their cars. I hate to say, I do not know which car belongs to who, as you can see, but they 
like to change the colors and spice things up and currently which color do you prefer out of chaos to you red black or gold generally I think I'd like the black but that gold is extra shiny and they are entering into the match as it will look like that park will play orange for this and There we go, we have a five minutes. As we begin, we have Sawyer Hawk, go in fast, knock it over, and ooh, almost a quick score. And Bloodbug is coming in. Go your skill. As Trust University is trying to, looks like they're trying to make a quick score of it and dominate early. As they are keeping the ball on. The opponent the third count uh, Carolina University and currently they're starting to go aggressive but ooh the score and it's a score for Soya Ha as Perk takes the lead in the first minute Looked like University uh, East Carolina University was trying to be offense and couldn't get the defense back in time. Bloodbud comes, takes it the first hit, and Chillin goes, starts doing some moves, and Bloodbud responds back, blocking it and while. East Carolina was trying to center it. Park used that opportunity to get it down the field. Right now, East Carolina is playing defense. And that was a nice spin by Malone, who is also a soccer player participating in both teams and has got it going. East Carolina is definitely playing the defense with one person in the net or guarding it close where there's normally a striker mid and net person is one of the formations which is useful and we have had Bloodbud score in Sahoya has demoed. A demo is when you ram into the opponent car so fast it quote explodes and then comes back a few seconds later. Right now Soya uh, is keeping things tight. And East Carolina is controlling it or trying to. But Perk seems to be going in and Drawing some nice, preventing them from having the ball control. East, looks like they've got East Carolina's trying to get a nice pattern, but as soon as they try and get organized, Perk comes in and shatters it. Please note, I am not the Rocket League expert, 
but that's why I believe, and they are sure doing it convincing that Park University is in control, getting the boost, making sure they have full power and full speed to get where they want to and interfere with Park University. Okay, East Carolina is trying to make sure that they've got control, but they can't do it. In order to get a good score, on score, what you need to do is get it on the opponent's side of the team, side of the field, and then get it centered. Once you do that, you hit it in, and East Carolina seems to be just trying to focus on getting it towards the goal, but as soon as they try and center it, they aren't able to pull it off. And now Perk gets a second score. Soyaha was able to do it both at the same time. Center it on the opposing team and slam it in for a second point of the game. This has 56 seconds left. So we believe it should be relatively easy for Perk to keep this lead. They could play just defensive, but... They may try and get a third point just to make it secure. Right now, it's 45 seconds. But please note that can go into overtime if it's tied. And the actual game only stops after it reaches zero and the ball hits the ground. Water Malone has been destroyed. And he's back now jumping in and causing disruption. Okay, McMom 64, just slammed it to the side, out, and Bloodbud comes back to respond, hits it high, and makes it difficult to control. And there we go, Sahoya bouncing, assist, and he gets the third goal. He sends it up, Water Malone straightens it out, and Sahoya tilts to slam it in. With three seconds left, Perk has won the first of five. First, which is a best of five. And now it goes up. And Perk has won the first point. There we go. Five shots on goal by Sahoya and three goals. as we begin the next match. Each field is slightly different, but most of the time they do play on somewhat extremely similar fields. Occasionally for promos and other unique things, they do switch it up. Yes, we do have a five minute delay. Sorry about that, but that's the rules and regulations. And I need to make sure I click in the right window. And Park is still trying to control it very nicely. And Perk is dominating where it is, and ooh, bounced all around, and ah, McMo 64 scored as Perk was applying the pressure. With all three down, McMo was able to get a point and start taking the first of this second game. They've taken the lead. Right now, things are going relatively well as they are moving around. Looks like chilling. 
destroyed Bloodbud to try and open up the score for Sky Z Trippy to come in, but he was not able to take advantage of it. And Bloodbud is back and was able to knock the ball away. And currently it's three minutes in and Zahoya has knocked it. Looks like Z Skippy and are trying to do defense and a man down. And using that, Bloodbud was able to score and tie it up in the second. Things are going smoothly as it is tied at, with three minutes and 21 seconds to go. Bloodbud moves, misses it, but lets the lone score and gets close to a shot. And then up above high. East Carolina is trying to knock it around. And right now, they're focused on trying to keep it on Park's side. Park, on the other hand, is just keep it playing keep away. They got close to a shot, but then East Carolina came in. Right now, Bloodbutt is moving up. Sets it from Sam Malone to come in and just a last minute save by McMahon, 64. Who was guarding it? Sullen Lee jumps up, tries to hit the ball, misses, but lets Skippy Z trip. Get a good hit, but not enough as Malone sends it down. Sully Lynn is trying to freeze it. And trying to make get it out. Right now we've got in several ways as we get up and going. Bloodbud nails it around, skips around one person, but McMalone stops it. And it looks like another attempt on goal, but nope. They're able to chase it back, and Bloodbud sends it into the middle. But it's not able to take advantage of it as East Carolina University was able to knock it back and he's juggling it, but was knocked away by Sam Malone. And currently, Park has regained possession of the ball. Bloodbud is bouncing it high with an attempt. Good score, but East Carolina was ready for it in the defense. They are playing extremely careful not wanting to lose up the tie. Bloodbud knocks it free as both sides are making so sure that there's no open goals. One minute remaining and Water Malone comes and sends it in. A minute left in this second game and we will see if Perk can keep the lead. This is a relatively low scoring event as other games have had high numbers, but Bloodbud comes in quick and fast in under nine seconds. Just takes it, so Hoy sends it to Bloodbud who just bounces it off and sends it in. And I am sorry about there being no game audio. Thank you for letting me know. And hopefully there is game audio now. Uh, we will be working on trying to fix the game audio. As Perk currently is trying to keep a two point lead with 21 seconds left. While Malone tries a hit. But Bloodbud follows up and gets the score for one to four. All right, Perk. Looks like everything is moving very smoothly. And we have in our chat Tuna Fish Chris, who is currently not playing, but is so talented he could play in also Twitch chat, I would think. But 
Right now he's watching his teammates go as we have five seconds, four, three, two, one, and the game is over as soon as it hits the ground. Some players like to try and see how long they can keep it up, and it's currently dribbling the ball up to see if they could get a final point. Sky Trippy Z, and then Mac Malone sends it back down. Okay, so currently they have a lead of two games to none with it's the best of five. And do we have game audio? Five minutes left for this third game. And as we go, Park comes in fast and quick, trying to intimidate, and Sam Malone scores in seven seconds. Impressive move, so hurry up. Put it up, and as everyone was trying to block that, Sam Malone, Bottom Malone, came in and blocked and scored. Sorry. Alright, uh, we thank you for letting us know about that. I will see what we can do about fixing the audio. Bud Bud move sends it up. In. And we'll be trying to get everything going with the audio. Currently crossing the head, and they are doing their best to keep out playing defense. And there was another attempt by Mikno 64 to come in and score. Sky Z Trippy. It's also coming, trying to score, and they are trying to force the point fast and hard. They are not able to do it as far as having some very good defense. Blood Bud there knocks it off to the side, forcing Sky Trippy Z to have to recenter it. He is unable to do so. Sullen has come back to try and knock it around. He was not able. To. Guy D. Trippy back and it rushes to the defense as they're able to get away. And Malone comes in. Rather than going for the ball, he goes to grab the boost to enable him to accelerate quickly. And Troy Top comes up. And Blood Bud then comes and knocks it to the side. Malone comes, starts moving around. And Soyaha goes into the corner. And McMo 64 sport evening it up at 2 minutes 44 seconds. Now as we go, we'll see who will win as it's tied up. It is sudden death for East Carolina University. They have to win in order to go any further. As they go again, able to sneak their ball before blood butt, and Sohoya tries to save but fails. <coughs> now we go. Two minutes to a second. Here Malone goes, locks it up. Bud sends it far 
pass to the opposing, but was able to block it. Okay, Malone comes, sends it forward, and does a high hit. Definitely off to the side, but Sahoya comes in and scores to tie it up. Trying to prepare for Sam Malone, but it wasn't enough. Is it all tied up and two minutes left? He will be making sure everything goes smoothly. Guys, X Trippy was able to get a quick shot, but it was wide and now. So Hoya comes in and starts to go and attack. Bloodbug comes. Defense knocking it forward. And Mikmo 64 comes back and responds. Sending it. So Hoya comes, sends it far and fast. Unable to get it in. The sky triple C tries to get in and scores for the third point coming back ahead for East Carolina University. Well, Malone tried to demo but was unable to as East Carolina University is up 3 to 2 in the third game. With a minute 30 to go, Clark University definitely can bring it back to a tie, which will lead to overtime. So they are not out of the game yet, as we've got 1 minute 15 seconds to play. Right now, Bloodbud sends it up. And we have Walter Stone dribbles it. And we had a collision between those three going up for the ball. And McMo has demoed Bloodbud. Looks like they're trying to take a quick attack, but Lee was unable to take advantage of it. And Bloodbud comes up, tries to pass it to the door. It fails. Now Walter Sloan comes, does a high pass, and it is easily deflected. That's it, and then we have the 30 seconds left. So then Lin is currently blocking it. To try and go in. It's a Hoya. Says it dribbles it close. Fails. Gets stolen. Walker Malone bounces it around. Bloodbud tries to get it. As they send it. And Walker Malone demos McMahon 64. That's a three seconds, two seconds. One second left, and that makes East Carolina University has won game three. Currently, it is tight with two games to one. Park University is ahead as we enter game four. Currently, we are waiting for Bloodbud to ready up, and we go back to Champion Field. Park University is on the left or orange side, and East Carolina University is on the right side. Quick. Guy Zippy. Guy Zay Trippy. He's on defense as Bloodbust. Do all purposes on defense, preventing East Carolina from doing much. Guy Z Trippy X comes in, tries to get it to the goal, but it is knocked away. Alone. So it's fast, as Guy Triple Z comes forward to try and follow it, unable to as it gets knocked away, tries to get Mom 64, tries to make a go for it, and Guy Triple Z tries to do some long shots, but it's not working, as Perk is playing extremely tight defensively. Below is knocking it up, as Mudbud comes in and scores. Between the first point of game four. And there we go. As 
we got B. Bad, furious, blood bug, move in and charge it, and alone kills Demo Slim, MCO tries to score, but really saves it, and the ball goes up straight towards East Carolina, and it is scored by blood bug, doing a, I thought, I think is relatively rare, Across the field four. Mo tried to deflect that at the last moment, <coughs> but was unable to. Cork is up ahead, game four, zero to two. All they need is a single win to complete the tournament. Currently, Cork is playing aggressive. Want to get the point and lock it down. The moon sends it to try and soar your heart to knock it in. And there it is, bouncing around the net. Several attempts. And Bloodbud stops it from going for the first direction. And Dylan Lynn knocks it back. And Malone does a long hit to the East Carolina University Stop. East Carolina is playing close together, which is the advantage of numbers. It looks like Perk is a little bit more spread out. That means A, they can cover the field more. And it looks like a one-on-one -on -one straight hit with the Hoya. And they are looks like they are following rule one, of which if two cars are hit going in a straight line and hit each other, you keep applying pressure until one of them is not free by some outside obstacle. So it becomes a two-on-two -two game. There is a unofficial rule on how they handle that one-on-one -on -one competition. And we have Bloodbug. And they are still at it. And they are not free almost for a moment, but Sky Z Trippy and Sahoya are going straight at it again. As they were blown up, and currently both are now coming back. And it'll be a question of how much it will affect either side. Going back to a three on three. Currently, the ball's at Park University. Side, but they're trying to take it back to East Carolina. Blood Bud does a fancy dribbling. He's able to get it. And one man remains. Uh, Malone goes up, starts using his boots to try and interfere with it. Uh, East Carolina, ooh, had a strong grouping together, but Blood Blood comes in and just wrecks their plan. Boya comes in. And it's in, in order to prevent him from getting it. He lost it full. Bloodbug comes in and demos. Sahoya tries to score. Sullen Lim blocks it. And then Bloodbug comes as we proceed into the final 20 seconds. Big Mo tries to control it. And it looks like he's going to try to score goal. Takes me out at least as he hands it off, but not good enough as Malone now has it. Mo 64, they're chasing at it. And Perk Esports has won. Congratulations. Uh, three games to one. They have successfully won. That's best of five. Take care. And this is the post-game report, as we will have other games later tonight. Currently, you will be seeing Rocket League in around 25 minutes, where you will see our Bilgewater team play. And then we will have Varsity Overwatch beginning at 8. Please 
Stand by and support your park pirates. Thank you very much.